Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kyle Little. We are back here today for another video about semen retention. Uh, today is going to be the why do I do semen retention video. Uh, just the, you know, the basics, the generals, the, the, the what drew me to doing this weird thing and not having sex and keeping lustful thoughts out of my head. So that's kind of just what I want to talk about today. So without further ado, let's get started with this video, guys. Initially, the first thing that drew me to doing semen retention was that I just had a realization that I felt like I had more energy when I stopped watching porn and masturbating. So this was the first realization I had. This was probably when I was about 18 or 17, maybe, um, after having watched porn for maybe like seven or eight years um, up until that point, like almost daily since I was 10. So I noticed more energy initially. And then obviously things um, progressed over time and I started experimenting more and uh, taking it more seriously and also altering a lot of other things in my life like uh, my gym habits. Um, I've always been going to the gym since about 16 so it's kind of always been a part of my life. Uh, bodybuilding that is and powerlifting uh, combined in a kind of uh, like a 5x5 five five, but then also I'll do like a uh, PPL split to push pull legs. Fraction to women didn't come back for quite some time uh, until I abstained from porn for like a certain amount of time. My my female attraction just wasn't there. Like I didn't. I had erectile dysfunction, guys. At the young age of 18, when I first started having sex, because I waited a while, probably because I was jerking off to porn, uh, wasting my time looking at pixels instead of actually learning how to talk and speak and interact with women and the world around me. Uh, that's what I think was happening anyways to me. Uh, so yeah, like, you know, just, it, you get robbed of that kind of stuff. So when you come back and then you are like, what do I do with this real human being? This isn't turning me on. This isn't some BBW, blah, 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 whatever you're into. And then you get distracted and then you start thinking about your porn again while you're with this lovely young lady who's been so nice to share herself. You know what I'm saying? So I regained uh, total attraction to the female species. Second thing, that's the second thing. Third thing, I began to think that I was a sociopath while I was using pornography. I had no emotions. I was basically blank to everything which allowed me to, one, sell drugs mercilessly. I didn't care about other people. I had no empathy. My empathy was robbed of me because my sexual energy was being taken from my body. Um, I hurt people, I did bad things. I had really no moral compass. It was as if maybe um, pornography had a meddling in my moral standing in life because now, all I do is try and do good and do good to other people. That was not the case back then. And all these changes happened, obviously, over the course of time and with different habits, like I said, like I've said in previous videos, but I attribute um, my celibacy over time to a lot of uh, my success in life. I already brushed over this with reconnecting with females, but. I just want to say again, you do completely reconnect to the feminine, the divine feminine, whatever you want to call it, the divine energy that is in this world that has been granted to us. Um, like compat the compassion you get from a woman, you can receive fully, um, things like that. Uh, just from other people to other men, you can receive energy from those people. Pe good people just suddenly want to be around you. It's just, it's honestly amazing. Okay, fourth reason why I do semen retention is it grants me material success. Now, this may sound egotistical to a lot of you spiritual people out there, but I think that wealth in the physical world is not something you should de deny yourself of, and even the Bible says this. So, I enjoy material wealth because I do not enjoy poverty, I do not enjoy struggle, I do not enjoy unneeded suffering in my life. So, semen retention allows me to work at my goals unrelentlessly and also you have to have goals in place in the first place 
in combination with semen retention or else semen retention will not create these goals for you. I already had things in motion before all this. I've always had things in motion, but semen retention just gives you that extra little edge to push forward constantly at a constant pace. I call this flow state. We speak about this in my last video. Flow state is basically just a state you can um, almost consciously enter. Um, and then once you're inside of this flow state, you can pretty much turn into an AI and flow your creativity into the world like an artificial intelligence would. Or like Frank Yang explains, I don't know if you know the YouTuber Frank Yang, but he's quite an interesting individual. He explains when he's replying to people on his social medias, he just turns on his AI mode and then responds to questions all day long. So this is the same thing. This is a flow state you enter with your phone, with your work, with your life, with your gym. You need to learn how to enter this flow state. And this requires a lot of energy work and a lot of practice. So the fifth reason why I do semen retention is because it grants me just like, I don't know how else to explain this, but an overall general well-being all day long. So bad things can happen and they just kind of roll off your shoulders. But I have, I'm going to do it and also I'm going to do a negative side effect video uh, of SR, some things that I don't really like, um, but can be controlled through like meditation and stuff like that. But I do get angry quite often <laughs> these days, like really angry, like but I live in a male environment, so it's okay. But SR has definitely made me more assertive in life. Okay? So, yeah, just there's a, just a general well-being um, behind you. Pushing you forward just throughout the day. Um, you just feel good. I don't know how else to explain it, man. That's reason number five. Hey, that's the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, drop a like down below. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe to the channel. Comment. I love your comments. You guys always have insightful things to say, and I love responding to them. Okay, thank you for listening and watching my video today. I know you all have a short attention span, so without further ado, this is your boy Kyle Little signing off.